And part of the story you're watching there in Arizona as well, Vaughn, I know, is this voter intimidation or ballot box watching, I guess, depending on your, your point of view. There's going to be a ruling from a judge today on that. What exactly is going on around the ballot boxes there in Arizona? Right. This ruling that is expected to come down from a federal judge here today is going to be significant because it's going to hit at the heart of whether any of the individuals who have actually been engaged in these act at these drop boxes uh, are able to do so going forward or whether the court determines that it was a form of voter intimidation. But also will hit at the heart of to what extent are individuals who urge these folks to come out and be these drop box watchers or vigilantes, to what extent are those who urge those folks to come out are they liable and are they able to encourage people to come and take part in that sort of a process? I want to let you hear, though, because this is more than a few individuals who are rolling up to these drop boxes and watching these voters here. But this is a, 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 a movement with roots that are deep. I mean, we're talking about back in the spring, prominent Republicans even here in the state of Arizona urging these folks to get ready to take these sort of actions. Take a listen. These people waiting in the dark hours of Arizona nights. What brings you up tonight? Are part of an effort by conservatives to watch, critics say intimidate, voters as they drop early ballots into drop boxes. I suspect there's been squirrely stuff going on for years and years. Those suspicions prompted by scenes like this. We will sleep by those drop boxes. I'm rolling out my sleeping bag. We're not going to let this election be stolen. That's Republican gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake back in May at an Arizona legislative hearing where witnesses tried to cast doubt on Joe Biden's 2020 win in the state. Among the discredited claims by groups like True the Vote, allegations of fraud by so-called mules who supposedly stuffed ballots into drop boxes. Arizona's Republican Secretary of State, candidate Mark Fincham, praising the group at the time. And all of the people who have contributed to this effort, they are American heroes because they are saving the republic from itself. But the Republican Attorney General Mark Burnovich this month referred True the Vote to the FBI and the IRS. His office writing that the group has, quote, not provided us any information, evidence of election fraud in Arizona. At the same time, Arizona's Secretary of State's office has referred six incidents of potential voter intimidation in these parking lots to the FBI for investigation. Some individuals have been armed and masked. So we're going to have people parked out there watching you and they're going to follow you to your car and get your license plate. What is intimidation mean? There's no objective test for intimidation, but it's when the combination of a number of different circumstances come together and create an overall feeling that makes the voter deterred from wanting to vote. Lake on Thursday, now urging those watching the drop boxes to not cover their faces. I don't like masks. I think you should, if you're going to do something like that, you should show your face. It's creating an environment that ties up my resources where we just want to make sure that people can vote safely and that, you know, democracy in, the, in this republic can carry on as it should. Donald Trump himself has now reposted videos and photos on his social media account of new unfounded claims by these Dropbox watchers. And another repost of his included the exact address of one of those Maricopa County drop boxes. But he's just very yeah. like, but you could see it. Again, this network of conspiracy theories stemming from the 2020 election and the idea of mules stuffing these ballot drop boxes has now transcended the 2020 election and is now the focal point of these network of operations that are attempting to watch, in their eyes, voters, others allege voter intimidation at these drop boxes with just 12 days to go, Willie. Yeah, scary stuff to watch, and a lot of it grounded in that very popular film about mules that was based on a conspiracy theory itself. NBC News correspondent Vaughn Hilliard, live from Phoenix. Vaughn, mm -hmm. thanks so much for your reporting.